Hello guys, what's up? Harsh here from Android Solutions. So guys, today I'm going to show you how you can install TWRP in your Redmi Note 3 and root your device. So guys, first of all, you have no need to visit this MIUI.com website and download the current ROM uh, which is your which is present on your uh, device currently. You can download older versions from here. Actually, I have already downloaded the ROM. So I will just open it. And after that, you have to extract that ROM file. That ROM will be downloaded in a, a zip version, so you need to unzip it. You can use any tool, a WinZip or 7-zip. So after that, first of all, you need to install these uh, minimal ADB uh, fast food drivers, whose all links, all required links, will be, uh, will be in the description box below. So no need to worry. After that, you have to just click on next, next, next and your drivers, ADV drivers and fast food drivers will be installed actually I have already installed the drivers so I will not uh, install them again so guys after that you have to copy it, uh, copy this super su file in your uh, phone's SD card paste it here now go back to that folder and now you have to open your ROM file and copy this boot ing file from that firmware folder and paste it in this Android kitchen then draw, drag it on this unpacking click on run now it will automatically do its process now you have to go to this ram this file and then FA, fsab you can open it in notepad after that click on edit find here you can type verify and find next it will highlight the verify you have to uh, simply delete verify with the comma on the left side and then save it close the close that and now click on this repacking packing button it will create a new modded boot image and now copy this image it will uh, saved in the form of this image new you ha uh, just have to copy it and first you have to copy it out of the folder and rename it to boot now you can copy it just copy it simply copy it and go to this flasher toolkit now you have to paste it here it will say you copy and replace click on this copy and replace button now you just have to click on this flasher toolkit click on it now so so guys let us jump into this device open your device and now go to the settings go to about phone option sorry about phone now click on the MIUI version uh, seven times so that to enable the developer options actually I have already enabled so this is showing me, uh, the phone is showing me this message no need to press you have already a developer then go to additional settings developer options then you just have to enable this uh, developer options and this USB debugging plus this enable OEM unlock after that uh, you simp I will show you the root status of my device click on this verify root so it is showing that sorry uh, root, uh, root access is not properly installed on this device so guys now we will uh, try to install TWRP and root this device in the most simplest way firstly connect your device with your PC via USB Uh, select this MTP and here you can see that USB debugging connected touch to disable it you just have to uh, enable it no need to disable it now you have to click on this flasher toolkit button and click on run now press any key in order to continue now type 1 press enter now make sure that your USB debugging is enabled in your device after that press enter key it is showing that your Redmi Note 3 is connected. Press Enter to remove into fast boot mode. Press Enter. Now you can see the MI Bunny on your screen. So now you have to press Enter key in order to flash the modded boot image. It will not take much time. Now it is showing that we have to press any key to reboot into system. Press any key. Now it is showing that firstly we have to wait till the device reboots into system mm -hmm. after that 
we have to unplug the cable so firstly unplug your cable and you can see it has booted normally so no need to worry try to unlock you can see that it has normally booted up now we have to replug the cable after we press any key to continue it is showing now we have to replug the cable simply replug it safely press any key to continue now you can see that your device has been uh, boot up into the fast boot mode now you have to press enter key in order to uh, sh start flashing this uh, TWRP file on a Redmi Note 3 device so guys press enter key in order to flash this TWRP so guys you can see that it has uh, shown the message that your device has been successfully installed with TWRP uh, uh, TWRP can show now press any key to continue after you press any key, it will show uh, directly boot you into the TWRP recovery. Now, first of all, you have to install the SuperSU file that you had already placed in your external SD card. Swipe to flash it. After that, you have to back, back. Now, click on reboot button. Uh, you have to reboot, uh, click on this uh, reboot button so that you can uh, reboot to the bootloader click on bootloader now it will take you to the fast bootloader here you can see mi bunny now you have to press any key in order to continue after that your device will simply boot up you can see my device is booting up and now the program is showing that press any key to exit the program now let us quickly jump up into my device it will take uh, 4 to 5 minutes in order to boot up so guys please have some patience and wait till your device boots up so as you can see that my device has been successfully booted up let me quickly unlock my sim my password so guys you can see that device is working properly without any problems working all fine now guys let us quickly check up our current uh, root status uh, here is my root checker click on this verify root button now you can see it is showing that congratulations root access has been properly installed on this device our device is redmi note 3 so as you can see that we have successfully rooted our device now guys let us uh, test our twrp recovery again uh, so guys for that we firstly have to power off our device click on power off tab on it and guys after that we just have to press the uh, volume up key and power key two of them together until you see the mi uh, mi logo on your screen after you see that mi logo you can delete the buttons So guys you can see that we have successfully uh, booted up into our TWRP 3.0.2-2 So guys that's all in this uh, video If you like my video then please subscribe to my channel And if it works well for you then please like my video